today. I have the pleasure of speaking with Moritz Smith from Alpha Men Resources. How are you today, Moritz? I'm very well, Tracy. Thank you very much for the opportunity. You know, Moritz, you put out some substantial news recently, and I think we should start start there. Just before we started this interview, I asked you to provide with me the most compelling point you would like me to make in this interview, and your answer was amazing. Why don't we just start there? What do you think is the most compelling reason that investors need to be uh, placing alpha men on their radar? Tracy, we are a peer tin producer, and in the last quarter, as per our guidance, we expect to have generated $34 million in EBITDA. Now that was at a tin price 10 to 15% lower than where we are at the moment. We are a very high margin producer in excess of 50% margins. We are a peer tin producer. And I think very significant from the announcement is our efforts in increasing our production down the line and certainly increasing our resource base. We have successfully commissioned a fine tin recovery plant, which we expect to increase our production by five to 10% down the line. And very importantly, we are progressing well in terms of our various drilling campaigns, the objective of which is to increase our resource base substantially from a life of mine perspective, but even more important, provide us with the ability to potentially double our production in the not too distant future. And of course, tin is a critical material. It's required for uh, our technology sector. And let's go back here to in your most recent update that you just referenced uh, about the fine tin recovery plant fully commissioned and producing. Um, You referenced this in your last question, but take us through that a little bit and give us a, a real update on what's happening with that, please. So Tracy, we had announced around quarter three last year that we will be building a separate fine tin recovery plant for less than 5 million US dollars. We embarked embarked upon this project with the objective of recovering additional tin contained in our tails from our current main processing facility. And now less than nine months later, we have fully commissioned the plant for around 5 million US dollars. We expect between five and 10% more tin to be recovered as a consequence. And the, at the current tin prices, you can imagine a very short payback period with regards to this new plant. So for us, it's very important to chip away at continuous improvements, additional output, and lower unit costs. Um, you also commented in the most recent news release that your net debt has been reduced to $29.9 million. Uh, would you like to comment on this? Well, I think that's very relevant, Tracy. Just over a year ago, our net debt position was sitting at around 100 million US dollars. We are now down to just below 30 million US dollars. And at the current tin price, and considering our current production levels, we would expect the debt to be extinguished, hopefully in this calendar year. Uh, In addition, of course, to working on production and reducing your debt significantly, you've also made some very aggressive drilling announcements. Would you like to update us on that, please? Tracy, in our opinion, this is a very, very critical aspect to our business, being drilling up additional resources at Alfman. Our current license area is extremely prospective. We know that our current producing mine extends at depth and we will be drilling that up to prove additional resources. You may or may not be aware that the original drilling campaign five years ago ended with a 16 meter intersection at 22% tin. So we certainly expect more tin at depth and we will be drilling along those lines. Secondly, we have a deposit right next door to our current mine, and we have announced to the market a number of drilling results from our drilling campaign on that deposit. And I do think that the market is probably appreciating that we are starting to delineate a potential ore body, which may, in our opinion, be our second mine. And then very relevant, further down south on our license area, we have a number of further prospective targets, which we will also commence drilling in this calendar year. So really, Tracy, overall, we currently have one producing mine. We have a vision of becoming one of the largest long-life tin producers in the world. And we may very well see a second, third, and hopefully a fourth mine 
within our license area in the medium term. Well, you heard it here on Investor Intel. Please join us when your next drilling results come out, please, Moritz. Thank you so much for joining us. Moritz Smith from Alpha Min Resources. Thank you, Tracy.